Check. I have a problem where every time I open up a newspaper, or I turn on the TV, I see a blatant example of Islamophobia and, and, and racism towards Muslims. How should I respond to, to, to all of this? Yeah, it is unfortunate that uh, there is a rise in Islamophobia and of course there is research that has been done by professors like Dunn and otherwise that shows that there is a rise in racism against Muslims, unfortunately. We, we need to respond in a measured way. Uh, and I always say that it's not about not responding, but it's about how best to respond so that we don't exaggerate the situation and make it worse for us as Muslims or even make it, making it worse for our sisters walking down the street. But also sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings these, really they are uh, blessings in disguise sometimes. I, I want to share a, an example with you. 9-11, uh, of course you, you, we all know about 9-11. Yes. The tragic events of 9-11. <clears throat> About two weeks or three weeks after that, the first mosque, the first masjid that was burned down to the grounds in the world was our masjid in the suburb of Karabi in Brisbane. I was living about 200 to 300 meters away from the masjid. And I recall vividly my wife waking me up at about 2.45 a.m. on a Saturday morning, thinking that our own house was on fire, because that's how close the fire was. <clears throat> ran to the masjid, the whole community came. By the time of sunrise, the masjid had already been engulfed in fire completely. You can imagine the feelings of the community and so on. <clears throat> After a while, when we were, you know, look, looking around the, the premise, everything was destroyed in that masjid except one page from the Hadith uh, book collection known as Riyal al-Salihin. And the page was burnt all around it except the hadith of Rasulullah that says, لَيْسَ الشَّدِيدُ بِالصُّرْعَةِ إِنَّمَا الشَّدِيدُ الَّذِي يَمْلِكُ نَفْسَهُ عِنْدَ الْعَظَمِ The meaning of the hadith is, a strong person is not one who wrestles and defeats others, but one who controls himself or herself in times of anger. I mean, that's profound. To us, that was a divine message. We responded to the situation accordingly. Angry, yes, we were. However, we did not allow that anger to make us lose control, but rather to be civil in the way we respond. So I recall I had multiple radio interviews and in my interviews I said education is the way forward. <clears throat> the first people to ever invite me to go and speak to them about Islam because of the civil approach that I have adopted were a people from a town called Gympie. You probably know nothing about Gympie, but people who are from far north Queensland, they would know, uh, and older Australian Anglo-Saxon people would know, and they would always smile or laugh when I mentioned this. The people of Gympie invited me to go and stay with them for three days where I should speak in every church and every school and every social club like the Apex Club. But before going, I was warned not to go to Gympie because I was told it was redneck and conservative and I must not go dressed or looking like this. But I went. And having that genuine interaction with people, allowing them to hear us and allowing to explain to them who we are and answering their questions as openly and frankly as we can changes the, changes the setting entirely. Anyhow, to cut a long story short, after I spoke in some churches and some uh, schools, in the next, the next day, in the front page of the Gimpy Times, City Embraces Peace message, with my picture standing in the middle of the cathedral. And this has been the case again and again and again and again. Yes, we should respond. If Islamophobia leads to hate crimes, then we must report them to the police, we must speak to the Anti-Discrimination Commission, and definitely, definitely, we must never take the law into our own hands. And also never underestimate the power of dua, asking Allah Ta'ala to change the situation to, to the better. Inshallah. Does that Jazakallah help? Khair. It does very well. Jazakallah khair. Thank you very much, Shaykh. Assalamu alaikum. Alaykum assalam wa rahmatullah.